Sessions with Michelle and Narda. I'm Michelle. And I'm Narda. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with you today. And we're going to start things off in a different kind of way. We're going to start things off with a quotation that we want to share with you. just hits me in a special way no man is your friend no man is your enemy but every man is your teacher Indeed. Yeah. we are all each other's students and teachers yes we are florence Kobel shin she is the author of an amazing book called the game of life and how to play it mm -hmm. and there's another book that she has in which she says your words are your wand and very often I always share that your words are your one because I think it's so powerful and it comes as a reminder that that person, wherever they are, that may be trying to bug you, they're not your enemy. No. In the, in the, in the grander scheme of it, their, their souls are playing a, a role to help us. To, not their conscious self, not their human self, but their soul is really helping us along to grow, to... To, it's huge opportunities so if we look at it from that perspective definitely a wealth of opportunity yes mm -hmm. and let's check out to see exactly what are our downloads for today mm -hmm. so narda what is on your heart and mind today what's coming to do to you what's your download uh, well, I have many downloads. <laughs> so, uh, what I think, um, what I've been feeling is um, the term that they've been using a lot is the great resignation. And I've mm. been feeling how that is so intertwined with life purpose and it's so intertwined with the great opportunities that came from the lockdown and COVID. The God placed our planet on standstill for an opportunity to dive deeper within self, to see the opportunities within to see what is working and what is not working. And a lot of people are actually leaving the careers, leaving relationships, ending. There's a lot of endings, endings, endings. And what the, you know, the job market, what they're calling it is the great resignation. That's in terms of work, in terms of people leaving their careers or their former jobs. And I would say they answered the call. A lot of them are answering the call. So yeah, that's on my heart in terms of in a grander scheme of things to deal with a collective of every one of us so connecting to our life purpose connecting to listening in like when i say listen in i really mean listening in to self yes really going with in. in yeah yeah what is working what is not working what doesn't feel good what um what is actually an act of fear opposed to act of love coming from love of god in terms of fear of what can be you know all the false beliefs and things that we've been that been thrown at us through system structures humanity the system <laughs> you know basically so, the system. yeah, yeah. You know, making us um and i wouldn't say make us i have to reframe that nothing is making us any we allow you know we allow, we allow, we allow ourselves to be you know to curve under fear and to buy into false beliefs and we may not think it's false we may think that they're looking out for us but um, at most times, it's actually they're looking over themselves, the systems, the structures of this world. But coming back into more of a, a, a holistic alignment is life purpose. Yes. Yeah. I love how you said that. And in everything you said, I was feeling like, yes, no, I don't. You know, like a bridge. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, I because I was hearing that. This is this was the great, the grander, in the grander scheme of it, this was the reason for the lockdown. This yes. was the reason for, you know, it was used as COVID, but it was an opportunity. Two things I think the lockdown really taught me is like, you know, let's go deeper within itself as, on a collective level, you know, yeah. the grand, the entire world. And it really showed like, you know, almost like the apocalypse. Like if you have your your life, are you going to yeah. be selfish and you're going to help other people? Or are you going to actually um, keep it for yourself? And I saw where selfishness was a, a big thing. You know, observing it here in the US. And so, yeah. 
interestingly, as you're saying all of this, that going within, Dr. Mm -hmm. Miles Monroe, he says something so beautiful that really stayed with me. And you know, I, I've been getting those conversations just coming to me and just hitting harder and harder okay. and harder until you just have to obey. Okay. And what Dr. Miles Monroe says, he says, forget being employed, become deployed. Mm. And I love how you mentioned the great resignation mm. because you have to put aside, you have to resign from anything that is not going to aid you in fulfilling right. your purpose. Right. And it's so important that we remember to listen to that voice, that quiet voice within. You know already. You know. Yeah. You're, you're getting that sensing, that feeling, that inner knowing. Yeah. And as we were talking about Florence Koval Shin, and we shared that quotation earlier on. She says something that is in line with what you were saying in terms of faith and fear. She mm -hmm. says, fear is actually faith inverted. Ah, yes, 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 yes. It's almost like that uh, the remembrance of worries actually press negative press we're putting out into the universe. Yes. yes. So it's like, what are we using? And, you know, I must say we all worry. <laughs> we all, but it's like, you know, that's how we've been trained and programmed in terms of if you, at most times, if you don't worry, people think that um, you don't care. Or if you don't react to something negatively, then you're not showing um, an action of, you know, caring. Yes. You know? So, uh, my gosh, we could talk so much about this. <laughs> And I love how you said that because these days you often hear persons stating it's okay to not be okay. But do you know it's also okay to be okay? Yes. Oh my gosh, the focus. That's we focus so much on it's okay to not be okay, but it is okay to be okay. It is okay to have all sorts of things going on around you, but because there's peace within you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're okay. Yeah, yeah. It, okay to be filled with faith it's okay yeah. to just have a situation that some may perceive as something you should be worried about but it's okay yeah. to be calm despite the storm yeah it's okay you know that reminds me of like throughout the lockdown period last year it was one of the calmest times for me like i was in in, in joy because not enjoy to see what other people are going through because it was hidden close to home. Um, the uncertainty of COVID and everything. And they, you know, the, the specialists, quote unquote specialists, they were yeah. learning um, as well. And, but in terms of the grander scheme of it, I really felt in my soul. And I, I had a lot of dreams of things coming to pass. And it didn't came to pass. Like the pet, you know, like um, where, did, where they had all this, um, this uh, invasion of the, the capital and all of that. I dreamt that way before. Um, so it's like, it, it, man, it's like that stillness, that peace that I was feeling. I knew it was going to be fine. But, um, and then, you know, a lot of humanity was saying, if you don't, if you're not reacting, then therefore you, you don't care or, you know, that, that kind of thing. But as coming back to what you were saying, it's like, it's okay to be okay. And I feel a lot of people are really buying into the narrative and the idea that, you know, we are not okay. And that's, yes, we have to feel, you have to feel what you're going through, but also you have to work towards feeling better. So the yes. work, that's the inner work, that's a necessary inner work. And, um, that is so highly needed, the working and feeling better and working and being better. Yes, we acknowledge that it's, you're not okay. A lot of people for, for the first time have come out and realized that they have depression. They, are, they have a lot of mental illness coming up. And that mm. is what being suppressed for so long. So, as we talked last week about suppression leads to depression. So if it's not being worked on, you know, it's gonna bubble up at the most inconvenient time. And yes. yeah. I love how you said that, and I will say it again, suppression leads to depression. Yeah, 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 suppression. That is so powerful. So powerful. Let's, let's just bring this back to the Caribbean um, islands of, you know, as even as a kid, when you're being beaten or reprimanded for some reason, um, don't cry. I'll give you something to cry for. You're teaching that child to hold in that trapped emotions. And yeah. those emotions then years later becomes you know what it becomes illness it becomes even anger rage mm -hmm. unexpressed emotions so you're beating the kid 
And on top of the child wants to react, it's a natural human thing to cry, to release, to want to release as you're feeling pain. Then yeah. don't cry, I'll give you some to, 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 to cry for. And this is especially taught in terms of men. Men are taught it's not good for a man to cry. Men yeah. bitch, don't cry. So all the false beliefs that is punched, like literally punched into children and really um, instilled into them, it creates a lot of these density, the density of these trapped emotions and suppression, unexpressed emotion wow. that then becomes depression. And that's why there's a lot of um, abuse, domestic violence. That's why it's a lot of depression. The, the period of lockdown have allowed us the opportunity to see what have been underneath, what's been really at the bottom. It's like a kettle because you're, you're covering it and everything is just boiling. It's like, ooh, you're hearing that noise yeah. because it's trapped inside, as you said. Yeah. Depression leads to depression. And yeah. it makes me again think of the it's not okay to be okay. It, it's okay to not be okay. And then it's okay to be okay. And I'll tell you why it, it comes up and it all. Okay, Michelle, I'm not hearing you. Michelle. Okay, I think we lost Michelle. Okay, let's wait for a moment until Michelle comes back. Okay, we're pausing for a cause. <laughs> Waiting for Michelle to get back on.
Are we back Hello? on? I'm seeing that everything was frozen. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you call teamwork makes the dream work and a whole lot of bad mind. Current literally went and I got uh, in my vehicle and I was like, no, this is going to happen. This is happening. We're going to do what we came to do. Wow, 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 wow. But it was a profound message. <laughs> we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Back on. Hi, Deidre. Yeah. Also seeing Lisa. So thank you so very much. Aww. So I think that would lead us right into getting into some soul spection. Yes. Yeah? Let's do that. And this is a piece that I wrote sometime last year. It's called Daily Bread. There is something spiritual about sharing a meal. The Egyptians say that once you do so, your family at a restaurant with one or few, much can such a setting reveal. Some strongly believe that through that, someone's character shows boldly. I believe all the above and too, I sincerely feel that the preparation of food is a form of alchemy. Peter Drucker advises more business decisions occur over lunch and dinner. That's a big deal. So never treat such an honor if bestowed upon you lightly. Take time to sit at the table and listen to those at home with zeal. It is such treasured moments that makes your habitation cozy. Whether you eat like pauper or king, be sure to kneel and say, thank you, Father, for the bread you give me daily. Oh, wow. You know, listening to what you just said as you recited the poem, it took me back in terms yes. of uh, the things eating at the table, literal conscious eating like sitting yes. with people that you care for or you're just having a conversation with somebody brand new that's having a um and yes you're talking and you're eating and you're sharing and you enjoying that that meal and it, mm, 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 it's so delicious right and it's such a conscious experience and you enjoy the collective energy of it true even um, probably about three years ago i i around this time i was in italy and i observed my Italian client, I observed how she set the table and I would see how she would, it was literally a ritual of setting the table in terms wow. of we sit and we enjoying a meal. And it was delicious food, but it's also the sharing of conversation, the, the, um, interaction the drinking of, you know, that's if it's a wine, if it's water, it doesn't matter. It's just the collective energy. And, yeah, so by listening to your, your poem, it took me right back in terms of conscious eating, you know, conscious sharing and, and, and that kind of thing. Speaking about eating, though, we have Chef Saga Joe with something yes. special coming out of the oven in just a bit. So I'm excited about that, but I do want yes. to say hi to Michelle William Wilson. She is on. Also want to send some love to Deidre and Haradan hi, and also Lisa Gomez. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Great ladies. You on, but yes, I remember as we we're, we're talking about food. I remember heading to Egypt, mm -hmm. and it was amazing for me when that lady gave me a quote. She said, "You know, in Egypt, we say once you share a meal with someone, they're your family. Mm -hmm. They are your family. So that is." so important for us to focus on that really yeah. savor not just the taste but also the company and this, this such a simple so now let's get right into this please continue i <laughs> i was saying that it was such i think yes yeah, we had a little bit of a delay because yeah. i'm using my phone as opposed to my computer no worries no worries and i think yeah. that's a beautiful segue for us to get right into feeding your spirit
Can you guys hear me? Hi, guys. Yes, I'm hearing you. Hello, everybody. It's Chef Sagajo here. I don't know if you guys can see. Are you guys seeing? No? Yes. With us, Chef Sagajo. So Good I'm going to go into my welcome. oven. How are, so this time, how Chef are you? Chef Sagajo is getting ready to pull something out of the oven. <laughs> Wow, I just wanted to show you guys this. You know, I loved, first of all, what you were saying, Nara, about yes. setting a table, about people gathering around the table to mm -hmm. eat. It's just a wonderful thing that needs to come back to the home. And as I'm pulling this out, it's a beautiful crostata. I know that you guys can see it. Yes. You will see it a little bit later. It's beautiful. Um, this is something sweet that we mm. eat at the end of a meal. And it just gives you that sweet life. Oh. Everybody sharing that sweetness, that love, that interaction. It's just a sweet and wonderful thing, you know? So I loved how you, you came in and you spoke about everybody around the table. Food is so important for the body, for the nutrition, for the mind, for the soul. And not to mention, it keeps families together. Oh, that's you true. Know? That's, um, that's, that's the way I look at it. And I love inviting people to my home to eat. Entertaining is part of my life, my lifestyle. And it keeps friendships alive. And I love doing it. So, you know, I'm going to get this ready to, uh, to show you what it looks like on a display when I, when I serve it on the table. That is true. <laughs> Look how beautiful this looks. Mm. Can you guys see this? Yummy. Oh my gosh. It it looks beautiful, right? And I just want to show you another dessert. So you know, this is definitely what you call the termination because I'm I'm driving. Oh, we're going, we're losing Michelle. Oh, what is this now? Oh, so this is another thing, another sweet life. This is Pears Zinfandel. It's actually pears that are poached in red wine. Ooh. And this is another very beautiful meal to share with friends and family. So, um, you know, we, we're talking all about uh, the Dolce Vita here, you know, the sweet life. Ah, and, uh, and, you know, like I said, everything feeds the soul, <laughs> everything feeds the body, everything feeds the mind. So as we are talking about all of this soul searching, mm -hmm. I mean, thank you guys so much for allowing me to come and show you Aww. my beautiful food. Yes. And yeah. one question, what kind of wine do you use? Do you use like oh, a... This is, that's a great question. So um, the red wine that I used here is called a Zinfandel. Okay. I, because it's a sweeter wine mm -hmm. and it gives a beautiful color to the entire to the entire thing. It just looks so pretty. I don't know if you can see the front of it. There is the front of the dessert. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to get ready to put it on and then we can uh, converse a little bit more onto it. Awesome. Thank you so much. That looks so welcome. Like you just want to grab it and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to take it. 
<laughs> with everything that they're creating these days, I want them to be able to create the opportunity that we can just, oh, that looks good, <laughs> Chef Sagaju, and we just And you can just eat it, or you can just smell it, yes, you can just scratch the screen, and there it will be, that would be awesome, right? <laughs> that would be something great to do. <laughs> So I'm going to get ready to put it on to the other side of the table where I can join you ladies. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So Michelle, you, you've been having a lot of technical difficulties, huh? I have, but you know, that is not going to stop us for whatever. <laughs> That's what you call determination. You ensure that you get it going no matter what. Yes. Uh, and that that's what I've been doing, driving from block to block, ensuring that I can get a proper connection. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You have to have love. Lo yes. In it to win it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl, yes. So it, I think that is the download for today. When when there's oh, yeah. something you've got to do, yeah. do it. You're right. And even when I think of on air sometimes to get to the station. If there were periods in which mm -hmm. there was a storm or mm -hmm. anything of of that effect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you have to take a canoe you, you're getting there you know right. if you have to spend the night at the station you're just ensuring no matter what froze again <laughs> get it done get mm -hmm. it done Yes, there's, I, I think, a song. No, I, I don't remember where this came from, but I remember a quotation or something. If you can't run, walk. If mm. you can't walk, crawl. Mm. If you can't crawl, roll. But either way, get there. <laughs> right. So I right. think this is definitely me putting that into practice. You know, let's if you just... have no internet yeah. at home, get in the car. Yes. If where you drive, determination and it's best determination and it's best you know like um even as michelle is coming back there something that i want to say is how oftentimes we give up on things that is divinely meant for us because of one little hiccup of two little hiccups about you know we start and it, it doesn't look like what we think in our minds it should be and then we stop or we like we go if we it's like um something I would say in my own personal life, probably a few months ago, probably before I took a new training, something that um in a technique that will be life altering for a lot of clients and even for myself. And the training was hugely intense. And as it was so intense, this it was like a four day all intensive. And the second day I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so much. It's so much like I'm talking about nine in the morning to like seven p.m or 6 p.m. and it's all intensive and so much new things. And my mind was being um, challenged tremendously. My heart was being challenged tremendously. Um, a lot of old things were coming up for purging. And I'm talking about if you were to know about this technique and, um, and experience it yourself, you would understand how deeply intense it was. And I was about, I was telling myself all the reasons why, you know, Nada, you know, um, and I had traveled out to do it in Utah. And I was like, no, you know what? There's another one being given in, in Fort Lauderdale. I'll go to it. And I was almost close to giving up on that. You know, like Michelle, I was sharing this, the, the experience, piggybacking off of what you were just saying about how we could give up yes. on something really quickly or even as one challenging times. It. And... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that um, I didn't give up on the technique on learning, taking that 40 all intensive workshop um, because I was highly wow. challenged mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And then at the end of the four days, I was I felt renewed. I felt the old stuff was coming up. That's what the technique does, which is mm -hmm. psyche, which I practice. And um, yes. it brings up the old things to clear. And the old stuff was bubbling up to the top. So in piggybacking off of what you were saying, Michelle, is like so oftentimes we give up, like a little challenge comes and we like, okay, you tell yourself all the reasons why I shouldn't do it. Right. And then you go again. And then something else come up. Oh, well, we should do this another day. And all those are missed opportunities. Yes. Just keep going. Keep going. When you set your intention into doing something, let nothing, yeah. no yeah. one prevent you from doing what you're supposed to do. Even yeah, if and you it, have to drive block to block to get good internet. Even, 
Yeah, because it could be life altering. It can be something that can really help a yes. lot of people. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. And now you literally have a visual because I'm certain throughout the day you would probably have something as something always would pop up. You'd say, Well, if Michelle could drive block to block, here now. <laughs> A living, breathing example, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So is that blue tea that I am seeing, Chef Sagaju? It certainly is my blue tea. This is something wow. that I love. Ooh. And Nada, since we are talking this lovely soul session, honey, it's this blue tea, I tell you, has so much nourishment and so many different antioxidants it's uh, you guys should look it up right don't just oh, take yeah. my word for it <laughs> um, but i drink it quite a lot because it cleanses you mm -hmm. and um it's good for your your high blood pressure mm -hmm. it's good for it even it it's even for anti-aging would you imagine <laughs> that's that? why you look so young <laughs> Okay, so now I'm, letting my, my, now I'm letting everybody know my secret. But really and truly, it's wonderful. All you have to do is just brew it in water. It comes in. Let me show you what it actually looks like so that people can see what it uh, what it actually looks like. I just love this. I, do, I have been drinking it for the longest while, and I'm so in love with it. It's actually... Oh, wow. It's actually like a blue flower. Ooh, it's called yeah. a blue pea flower. Can you see? Can you guys see this? And yes. what happens is that you just put it in hot water and that's it. No sugar, nothing. You don't need anything like that. And I tell you, honey, this is good for the soul. Oh, it really, yeah. really is. Wow. And not to mention, it's got such a beautiful color. You know, it it's does. lovely. And I even bake with this. I even cook with this, bake with this, mix a little cocktail here and there. Mm. <laughs> you know, but it is good. It really. So what would I? Well, if we will look, you know, want to get it, where? Where can 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 I get it on Amazon? Can I get it? Yeah, on you can get it online. You definitely can. Um, I mean, these were um, a pres you know, presents to me, but definitely you can get them online. It's just, it's called Blue Butterfly. That's, oh. that's exactly what Blue it's called, butterfly. Blue Butterfly. The packaging yeah. is also so gorgeous. Yes. Beautiful. And it's just really, it, it really calms you down. I like having it after my entire meal, like after everybody leaves or whatever. And I just like having it. You know, like first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening. Really, really good. You you do feel the difference. So I really like it. You know, I, I, I'm a, a big tea freak, right? Mm -hmm. so what's I wasn't that? just going to say Nardo loves tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michelle, you would have seen when I lived in Trinidad for that year and a half. Um, So Tivana got me started on mm. tea. And one of the teas that I loved, and of course Tivana is discontinued, um, is Lavender mm -hmm. Dreams. And what you're describing there wow. with lavender rose petals. And when you drink it, you feel like all calm because it's of the lavender. And you really do. So I'm going to be looking for that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> wow. You guys got to have this. You guys got to get this. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and we are planning our soul session weekend. So we will. Definitely. Yes, in person. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that. I did not really get to see the food. I did see the, the, the pear, but I missed the other item. And I, I you certainly see it. missed you my microscata. So yes, you really, really cannot miss microstarter, Missy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's such a delicious bite. I tell you, when you get into it. It's really beautiful. Wow. It's it consists of a pastry dough, of course, fresh pastry dough from me, and uh, it's a variety of mixed berries, and of course, I had to add in some sweet figs, mm. and this is wow. all baked into the oven, and it's just delicious, really, really delicious. You can serve this with ice it cream. So you can serve it with with any sort of topping that you Ooh. prefer, whipped cream. I just like this 
just the way it is. Mm. A couple slices, and that's all you need. Oh. You know? So Hungry. it is middle of the week and middle of the day, and some persons would need some of this. Some feel good tips. Narda, do you have any feel good tips for us? Oh Chef my God. Saga Joe, do you have any feel good tips? Yes, definitely. You know, whatever you put into friendships, whatever you put into your body, whatever you put into your mind, just don't expect to get it back. Oh. You know, just continue to show don't, the expectation of getting back. Mm. I think, I think um, really holds us. You know, mm. not because you did something or you're doing something that you expect the expectation, you know, you know, if you're doing it, do it with a good heart. Mm. Don't yes. expect wow. the unexpected, you know, One. So that's part of my tip. For I, today. I, I love that. That That's a very important tip. Yeah. Yeah. Very I agree. Important. It's, it's, it's going to be, it's a freeing kind of a concept, you know, like it, it frees you from the expectation that it's going to come back from that person it could come back from somewhere else it can that's it, right or it could come from sitting by the ocean and the breeze hits you and it's like oh you know it can come from different yeah. ways you know? yes yeah. yeah um yeah. but for me in terms of the feel good tip is like people who have not capitalized on the energy and uh, the the pocket of time of the lockdown mm -hmm. in terms of the holistic perspective i know there was enough distraction for us to not potentially capitalize on going within ourselves is you can still reflect on the past and you can still reflect even if you were five years old you know but you can reflect on right. last year this year and see what was the bubbling opportunities of thoughts of feelings of reflections that soul factions your word <laughs> michelle you know that been coming up um in terms of that, the, the great opportunities of the lockdown, you know, COVID wasn't just COVID, you know, that was the distractive thing, you know, what was deeper was what God was really wanting us to, to capitalize on, you know, go within ourselves and that kind of thing. So if a person could really take some time and pause, and I'm, I'm not saying five minutes, I'm saying make it like a, yes. you know, don't even give it a timeline, but really yes. going deeper in terms of what was the opportunities, even if the, the lockdown have far gone, you know, um, or the scare of COVID have far gone, like really go deeper in terms of it. It's really getting yes. deep in terms of, and be honest with yourself. What is working, what is not working, what needs tweaking, what needs to be eliminated entirely, um, you reflect. Yes. I love that. And my field of tip, while you were putting everything on pause and the, the reminder that Chef Sagajo gave in terms of don't expect what you give back. Mm -hmm. I think my feel good tip would be keep going. Despite whatever is happening, just keep going. And I think everything that happened here came in divine order because not only is it my words, but in the actions that you were able to see on display, keep going. You have something to do, keep going. Everyone is telling you, no, keep going. Everything may not seem to be looking as though it's working in your favor, keep going. Just keep going. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep going towards your dream. Keep going towards your desires. Keep going towards that vision that you're seeing in your mind. Keep going towards that soft whisper that is calling you, that has been calling you. Mm -hmm. As Narada said earlier on, the great resignation keep going and as i reminded earlier on about the words of dr miles monroe keep going forget being employed and become deployed become committed to that goal that dream that desire that vision that thing that is giving you joy and making your heart beat just keep going mm -hmm. despite where you are despite 
fight whatever you have. What is in your hand now is enough for you to be able to do what you need to do. Keep going. That's my feel good tip. Keep going. I Gosh, I love and drink that. some of that blue tea. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that tip because I'm telling you, I'm going to keep going on my passion and my dream. So, Michelle, you just enlightened me to push myself even further to do what I love doing and to stay on that straight path, no matter yes. what. And no yes. matter who yes. says yes. yes. It so was I deeply heartfelt, Michelle. Very, very. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And we'll keep going. We have some hard work to do with Nardo. <laughs> <laughs>
It's your, your parents, it's your classmates, it's your coworkers, it's the guy driving next to you who's in a lot of anger. It's um, a lot of things. And I have learned over the past 12 years to really sit with myself in silence in that space. And mm -hmm. when I go to like a restaurant where, or where there's a lot of, um, there's a crowd of people, I've learned how to like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling other things that's in my energy that is not mine. And so I have learned to dissolve it. And here's another tip in terms of dissolving it. And like, almost like when you drop, like, let's use a term, an inus, <laughs> like one of the dissolvable things in a glass of water, envision it's what doesn't belong to is dissolving off of your energy. And it's going back to God, going back to God for transmutation, transformation into light, whatever good, positive intention you can set for that. You do that. So that's the hard work for really paying attention to your heart. Focus on the thing that you have control of, which is your breath, deep breathing, deep in your belly breaths, because that in itself could really help you to alter your state. And um, stay tuned for next week. I have something more excited. <laughs> so, yeah. That was awesome, Nada. That was awesome. Thank you. Very, very, you. very, very yeah. potent. Feel yeah. good with it. Thank yeah. you. And it's very profound, despite how simple it is, it's very profound. And I will highly suggest people utilize it as much as possible daily, multiple times a day, and really come back to themselves yeah. because yeah, like carrying stuff that doesn't belong to us. Very true. I appreciate that tremendously. And at this time, if you have any questions, we'll be taking any questions that you may have feel free to ask away, put it in the comment section, and we will be happy to answer any questions that you have as we're getting ready to wrap things up. So if you have any questions, feel free to put that in the comment section. You have with us Chef Saga Joe, who's all about soul food. <laughs> and you also have soul hypnosis, life coach Narda Mohammed, and myself, Michelle. I'm an author, broadcaster, motivational speaker, and marketers. So whatever questions you have, feel free to ask away. I'm seeing that Deidre is saying something, but I'm not seeing anything coming up in the comments section. I know that you all <laughs> did love the food that you all would have been seeing, but if you have any questions, <laughs> feel free to put them in the comments section and we will be very happy to answer. Thank you. And also a special good afternoon to Crystal Murray. Thank you for tuning in. And Deidre and Haradan, it is a pleasure to have you as well. So if you have a question that you want to ask Narda, myself, or Chef Sagajo, now is the time to do it. As I take this opportunity, though, to say thank you to Narda for that beautiful session in terms oh, of hard work. I personally have done sessions with Narda and... I can say it is an experience like no other. You can travel the world and you will not find an experience like what Narda would give. So if you yeah. want to book a session with Narda, head to her website, which is www.nardamohammed.com. If you would like to have something from the kitchen of Chef Saga Joe, be sure to follow on Instagram at Saga Joe underscore, and you'll be able to book if you're in the Miami area, have her as your private chef. And also feel free to follow all of us on our social media platforms. For Narda, it's trauma underscore coach underscore Narda. And don't forget at Saga Joe underscore. And I am Michelle Borel Titi. So with that, we thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Yes, it has. I, I have to say that I love the energy of the sharing space and time with the, the beautiful, you two beautiful ladies. It's been such a Thank joy you. and such a pleasure. I can feel Thank the sincerity you. of both your hearts. And it's, oh. it's an honor, a complete honor that's just share this time and this space with you both. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Nada. Same back, right back to uh -huh. you, honey. Because <laughs> I don't think I could have mm -hmm. said it as good as you. <laughs> well, really, really. She really is a way. To share. <laughs> Share and share alike, right? Oh, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate sharing the space with you. Oh, thank you. Oh.